Hey guys, Lucas May at Full Counter Ranger Baseball. Are you or your player struggling to hit high pitches? Struggling to hit low pitches? We're going to talk about that. Okay, the main point that we want to drive home tonight is that the bat at contact should closely match the plane of the shoulders. So I have the white pipe representing my shoulders, okay? Let's visualize a ball on the tee right here. If I get to a contact point, I want the bat to be parallel to the line with my shoulders. Where players get in trouble is that their shoulders do not tilt with the pitch. So maybe we have a low pitch. The knob on the tee represents the low pitch. What players do is their shoulders will be in line with the pitch that's higher, but their bat drops and they don't match those two planes together. That's when you get pitches that you foul off, that you swing and miss at. Conversely, players who have a hard time with dumping this way cannot hit the high pitch because of that mismatch that we talked about. That's why they can only hit balls that are down in the zone. So there's two ways that we can do this. You can stand here like I am and visualize a ball at each location. One that's up, one that's middle, one that's down, and you use your shoulders to get to each pitch, as long as the bat is still parallel with that pipe. Another way to do it is to have your arms up high and get to the high pitch, then move to the lower pitch, then move to the lower pitch. Now where I feel that is in my hip clearing to make space. If the hip doesn't clear, then it's hard to tilt down to those. You don't have much strength behind it. But when that hip clears, boom, you get to the high one. When it clears, boom, you can get to the low one. Use tilt to your advantage. Tilt is good. Hitters aren't robotic. Hitters don't hit like this. Hitters are dynamic as they get to different pitches. Guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the likes. Show your friends. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs>